Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, trying to help somebody. I helped him with this logo that was uh, color and pretty terrible. And now he ran out of a cup and the center part of the E's barely show up. Well, let's look at this thing. First of all, it's maybe that's just my computer, but I don't think so. You need to turn this to an RGB. Whoop. An RGB with the uh, line tool. And when we do that, let's take away the fill. And you can see we got an outline. I'm going to make it red. It looks awful thick. So I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to convert it all to a hairline. That won't really change anything. And then we're going to go to object and um, group and ungroup it. And then we're going to go and we're going to get the E's. And I noticed that the E's look awful kind of thick. So I think there's two copies of everything. So I would uh, take away the copies first for the one I'm doing. And I'm going to send you this file. I'm just going to click and I'm not going to move them. I'm just hitting delete. So it's going to delete that first one. And uh, I think you really have to do this individually. Uh, you know, if you did it. I can just see that it's a little bit redder than it should be. Uh, that's really not going to cause any problem because we're going to fill it anyway. Uh, but just in case in the future, let's try. Uh, yep, you can do all of them at one time. Okay, so now let's fix the ease. And if we look and we hit this, it's still grouped together, group, ungroup it. And if we move this, the whole thing does not move, and that's what we want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to fix both these E's at the same time. They don't look that small, but they are. I'm going to shift select both of them, and I'm going to go to object, group, and group it. Then I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour to the outside, like maybe 0 0.01 in red. Well, to the outside, huh, 12 step, one step, 0 0.01. Maybe that's a little bit too much. So let's go 0 0.005. Well, you know what? I need to back up completely. There we go. That's, I don't know why it's, well, it says two steps. I'm not having two steps. So just put one step there. Whoop, I picked the wrong item. So let's go zero, zero, 005 and it's just made it a little bit bigger. And then we can go to object and break the contour apart. And just, you don't really have to get rid of that center one. But then when we fill it in and make sure you've, you're gonna have to fill it with Smart Fill Tool, and the hairlines are going to help you. I'm going to fill it in with RGB black and see how much bigger the, and I'm going to go ahead and do all the letters uh, as I go across until I get to the next E. All the other letters seem to be fine. While I got the Smart Fill tool working, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in those letters. The hairline is not going to really take anything, make anything different. I'm going to shift select both those and hit G to group them, and then that way I've got this set up. I'm going to, it's still uh, selected, so I'm just going to get rid of the interior, go back to the Smart Fill tool. Uh, there's no smaller parts in these. I'm going to go in and do them all until I get to that next E. Whoop. That's the only thing wrong with the Smart Fill tool. Um, now let's do the same thing on this E. And if you come from the outside and select it, and you really don't have to break the contour part, uh, but we are, and then get rid of it, because we're going to get rid of the outline anyway. And then I got a couple more E's. Um, well, really just two more. So we'll 
I can select both those because I'm not selecting the whole letter. I've got to group them together though for the contour tool to work. And then I can go straight to break the contour apart, grab the center one and hit delete. I do not think we can just turn these black. Say that if you turn them black like that, you get the inner part. So you're just gonna to have to go to the smart fill tool and fill these in individually. The only thing I wish I would have done now, and it really doesn't matter because the hairlines aren't gonna affect you because he's not gonna be cutting this, uh, would have been to uh, group this, the hairline together and then I could have just deleted it. But it really doesn't matter in this case. And you can select it all and right click no outline, you know, whoa. So part of my drawing is an outline. So what you'd have to do is select them individually, right click no outline. It might make a little bit cleaner look. He did say something about the sunglasses and I think they look perfect. Uh, of course, I drew it. Bathing suit, I think, looks good. I could maybe uh, taper it in a little bit there, and I might do that before I send it to him. But quite a bit difference on the ease now, if you'll look. And I'll, for the one I'm doing this for, I'll, I'll send you this file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.